Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm with my fun ya with my daughter. All you say hello. Hi. <laughs> We're going to have it the chili today. If you remember my I got two bushes of the chili and they are scorpion chili, super spicy chili. Is it a um, twin Trinidad? I don't know how to say it correctly, but this is the two bushes that I overwinter them. Uh, last winter, so the whole uh, winter they stay in my house and I water them well, once a week uh, sometimes even maybe 10 days, depend on how dry they were but anyway, I will link the video uh, that I did um, talk about that in the description below if you like to check it out uh, let me read how this in here, not much of the thing in here actually but then anyway, so uh, you can see that last year I I got uh, them growing in the container and then um, the whole time they did not have any food for me. At the end of the season though, I did have some flower but the temperature was very cold and they took on shiver and they drop. Uh, so at the end, I overwintered them inside and in the spring, I brought them outside here and I reported them before I went away. Uh, it took about a month ago. But lots of the foods, they ripen beautifully. A lot of them, they already drop off and I picked them, brought them inside and my husband had been using them. They are super, super spicy. Uh, do you know the um, Kayan or some other, um, you know, tiny little chili like this? And whenever my husband, he had noodle, he used about three or four slices. But this one, he only used only one slide. <laughs> it's very spicy. But my Vietnamese friend, uh, Ling, if you remember uh, and she doesn't mind this spicy one she said to me the other day that she even ate um, half of it in a bowl of her noodle and but uh, she took the seed out uh, because I think the seeds um, are the most spicy uh, the hottest part of the chili anyway my daughter here she very poor take <laughs> her finger because she doesn't like spicy she got the scissors out yet so, so she's going to help me to pick the chili Hello, are you ready? <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyway, by the way, all you, you can just go ahead to pick the chili. You want to pick in, them in the basket for mommy? Do you know how to pick them? And you scissor it and cut on the top here. You see on the top here? On the green part. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice that. Can you cut it? Yep, nice it. Put it in the basket. Yeah. Can you can just go around, cut on up the red one for mommy? Thank you. So you can see, um, I see, can see a lot of flowering but over here and I think I will have more chili now, after you know the one I'm going to have it them today. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with all the chili. I can, firstly, we just dry them and we either we make the sauce with them, you know, um, chili oil with them or maybe my husband make pickle with them. I'm not sure. But anyway, example. You can see this one is really ripened and so the stem is dry off like this, to dry out like this. So sometimes they just need that to drop uh, on the base, you know, on the plant and they just pick them. But today, you see, the day officially we have it, all of them. Uh, my friend, um, she came over to pick a few of them already. So anyway, so very successful. I have to tell you, last year I wasn't like impressed about the, how they grow because they grow very well but it's <laughs> uh, but they, I did not have any food but I'm so pleased to see how they perform this year look at that and they are so spicy oh this is a big one yes This one. Yeah. What? 
So when you go to Chile, it's best to play the Chile in the full sun area and I got two containers here in the middle of nowhere so they got full sun, I see the morning sunshine until very late in the evening Look at that, that's a very big one! Look at this, you can see that Look at that, the pointy Wow! <laughs> anyway, and I make sure to keep the container moist. Uh, at the beginning uh, of the season though, I was struggling to keep them moist because they were in much smaller container. Uh, and because that container, they were in last year as well. Uh, so a lot of soil they already spent and they ran out of new journey as well. So I repotted them before I went to Vietnam and I fertilized them with bowls for tonight. Oh no, they are citrus fertilizer. I just been going around, I think a few hands full. Um, and I just top up some mulch, sugar cane on the top. And you want, I mean, when you go spicy chili, and of course you want them to have a, a spicy or have a, have the heat. <laughs> so if you put them in a shady area and they won't be as spicy or will be as hot. So that is! Look at that! <laughs> we have a lot of them, but you know, they are so spicy. Anyway, um, oh, I want to give you the update about our local tree. If you remember, I got it growing in the container. And yeah, in the winter, I will bring it inside, okay, like under our car pot to protect it from the frost. But do you know, uh, the, the tree will have a flower and it has been blooming for a while now, maybe well, two weeks. Look at that, you see I got two seasons or two crops out of the tree. <laughs> I did not expect that. I read on the website of Daily Food Tree, they say that in the uh, tropical climate they can have uh, two, two crops, you know, they can bloom twice a year. But anyway, in our cool temperate climate, I did not expect that they, uh, they bloom again. I'm so excited about that. Oh, look. My daughter is playing with the scissors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, so here's these. They they have a flower. Uh, I think well, just, I know two or three weeks ago, and this as well. But here I can see more flying, but they are forming over here. Look at that. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, I put the, na the name of the variety on the screen, so if you like to check this out. And at the moment, it's still in the container. I don't know what to do with it yet. <laughs> anyway, over here, I got, um, what is this? I think this, this is, uh, I was thinking maybe navel or orange, but maybe not. Look at that, because navel orange, oh, uh, they normally, they got, you know, they, um, I don't know, their bottom, they, uh, they got, you know, very distinguished end here, but the foot here, I can't see it, so maybe not a navel orange, yeah, or maybe when the foot are young and they just doing like this, please let me know, do you think it's in navel, Washington navel orange? Hmm, I'm doubt about that now, but anyway, these are the trees that I got from my friends and she was like doing the landscaping and uh, yeah, she offered me because if I did not uh, dig them out and they could be all, you know, destroyed. And this is the, another tree as well. If you watch a video, this one over, uh, you know, over winter in my house as well because this one looks super, super sad. But uh, I reported it not long ago, and I think before I went away as well. And it's doing much better, but I still have a lot of catching up to that tree to do. And my other um, um, Washington, um, yeah, Washington na navel orange, I ordered from the daily food tree, um, how to say, in the middle of winter actually, so only a few months ago, and two tree, and I ordered them, and they came with the same size, but I can see the one on my right side bushing out <coughs> and grow much bigger than the one on my left side. Uh, I'm going to do a seated tour for you very soon, so you can see my as a citrus as well um yeah i think that it actually uh so here this is the result oh they please don't hold your scissors like that so scared and it's dangerous as well or you can just say thank you and bye bye thank you and bye bye <laughs> yeah that's this guy so yeah i'm very very pleased to um to see the success oh i still miss one or oh, two yeah, I did not expect it to have so many fruit of this variety and I will try to overwinter again um, in the winter 
but uh, we'll see how this go. Um, I, I certainly I don't think I need spice or the hot chili for a while after this habit though. <laughs> but anyway, thank you again and I hope to see you next video. Bye bye! Oh by the way, this is our meow meow. My daughter opened the door and she just came out here. Meow meow! <laughs> meow meow! Meow meow, say hello! Look at that, she loves being outside but she she not allowed to be outside, you know, unless we very close to her or put her on a leash. Meow meow, don't scratch me. She very cute. She loves being outside. Meow meow. Meow meow. Are you cute? Cute. <laughs> okay guys, thank you again and see you next video. Yummy.